As Rita was growing up, her parents happily supported her desire to live a life of prayer and even set up an oratory in their home. When Rita decided to fully dedicate herself to God at age 12, they were tearfully reluctant, and they won out and were able to give her in marriage at the age of 18. After 18 years of marriage and two sons, Rita lost her devoted husband and shortly after her sons. One night, as Rita was praying alone, she heard her name called out and was transported to another place. This miracle astonished the Augustinian nuns who received Rita then and soon enrolled her among their number. St. Rita's humble life was distinguished by obedience and charity. After hearing a sermon on the Passion of Christ, she kneeled before her crucifix and she asked, Let me, my Jesus, share in thy suffering at least one of thy thorns. Her prayers were answered. Suddenly, one of the thorns detached and fastened itself in her forehead so deeply that she could not remove it. The wound became worse and was there for a long time. As St. Rita was dying, she asked for a rose from her old home. Even though it was not in the season for roses, there was one waiting in full bloom. For this reason, roses are blessed in Rita's honor. Pope Leo XIII canonized St. Rita on the Feast of the Ascension, May 24, 1900. She is the patron saint of abuse victims. Thank you.